Scott here with another uh, how-to video for you. Uh, previous video I told you I'd show you how to do a double stripe first before the base coat to save time, save masking. Uh, as you can see I got pretty much a complete trike body in here. So eight pieces. So brand new fairing, tour pack lid, inner fairing, uh, switch, switch uh, panel switch cover. I got the tour pack uh, lower and we got a tank which would be some tedious masking here so I got to blend in the stripes, blend in the base and then we clear we're only doing the one side so I got to make sure the color matches. This is a 2002 Luxury Rich Red so what I'm going to do is pretty much just focus on this fender here. So this is just a used fender, had very, very minor body work. The, uh, the original fender was pretty much crushed. So we had to get him another fender, uh, did the minor body work on it. So first thing we're gonna do on this, uh, this, as you can see the stripes, there's a silver and an orange red color for the pinstripes and luxury rich red for the base coat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna seal this in like a medium gray to make all coverage a little easier on the pinstripes and the base coat. So I'll do all the parts first in the gray, and then we're gonna do the orange stripe first. So what I'll do, I'll cut off here, and when we come back, you'll see this in a gray sealer. And then after that, I will spray the orange red and uh, I'll show you how to do the pinstripe on this. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, here I am back. And as you can see, I got all the parts in a sealer, a gray sealer. This is a shop line sealer. I uh, kind of mixed it so it's more of a medium gray. They got a dark gray and a white. I just mixed them. That's what I have in stock. And as you can see, I just spotted in the trike body since I'm not going to do the whole thing. So I definitely got a lot of spotting of the pinstripes, spotting of the base coat, and spotting all over. Full fairing, full tour pack lid, inner fairing, no stripes on this. Just spotting that, and this will be a little tricky too. There are stripes underneath here that I had to preserve because they're very thin and they're very intricate. So what we're gonna do here, I've decided to do the silver stripe first. And the reason is, is because if I do the, I'm gonna do the silver stripe, I come back, I put my 16th inch stripe on. And then what I do, I come back, I measure an eighth inch gap in between. I use my guide, as you saw in a previous uh, video. And then I'll spray the, uh, the red. The red will cover the silver. If I did the orange stripe first, and I come back and spray the silver stripe, it's harder covering the silver over the red than it is the red over the silver. So you'll see what I mean. You don't want to build up too much of an edge against the red when you're completely done. So I go with the hardest color first, which is the silver. So I will go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you guys is an easy way on how to do these stripes and make them consistent. Because what happens is, if you try this on a bench or something and you try to hand lay it, they get herky-jerky and they just don't look good. And then when you do the second stripe, it makes it awkward to be parallel with the first stripe. So what I'm gonna do, I have this rack that's been around. I've made all these racks. I did them probably 15 years ago. I lay it like this. I angle it. I get comfortable. I put a little bit of tension on the tape. And what I do is just very gradually, nice and smooth, just go around. Now on this particular layout, it curves back. This is the top stripe, I'll do the other side. So one thing you, want, you don't want to do too is make this corner too tight because our next stripe is going to be 8 inch and 8 inch is a little tougher to turn so you want to leave yourself a nice little, nice smooth, loose curve. So as you can see, 
this is pretty much a perfect layout. Probably better than what Harley does. I've seen some fenders, uh, some stripe jobs, factory stripe jobs that don't look that great. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys before we move on to the next step, a nice little trick there to get a nice smooth layout. I'll do the same on the other side. And then what I do, I stand up here and I just compare the two sides. So we'll be right back and I'll show you what to do with the next next step once I get all these 16 inch stripes laid out. Be right back. Okay, here we are back. What I've done is uh, turn my nozzle down quite a bit so it has a very thin pattern. Not very thin, I guess uh, maybe two, three inches wide. And I sprayed right along where the orange is gonna be, the red orange. There'll be an eighth inch gap in between the silver. The silver's the top line, so there'll be an eighth inch gap, which will be end up being luxury rich red. And then there'll be this uh, orange red stripe underneath here. Now, as you can see on the track body, what I've done is, uh, tape's coming up there, you gotta watch that too, is uh, spotted in the orange. I blended it into this stripe here. This fairing gets two stripes. So what I've done, is did my top stripe. The orange stripe will be inside here and it'll be towards the rear of the bike here, rear of the fairing. And then I'm gonna have a double pin stripe inside the uh, tour pack lid. And you can see what I've done on the tank here. So I blended the stripe into the original stripe. You can see the color match is real good. So underneath this stripe right here, the 16th inch stripe, of course, is the silver. So which will be retained throughout the process till we get the luxury rich red done. So at this point, I'll go ahead and lay the eighth inch uh, stripe fine line. Actually, I'll put a guide in between on most of these parts to give me uh, the correct spacing before I put the tape over the orange red stripe. So I'll come back and show you this guide that I'll put down. I have this in a previous video, but I'll show you again on this one. So I'll be back soon. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I've laid my guide tape out down and I went ahead and laid the orange fine line, which covers the red orange color. So the green tape that you see here that is my guide tape. As you can see right there is the 16th inch tape. Right there. So that's covering the silver. This is my guide. This would be an 8th inch gap in between the silver stripe and the orange color. The red orange color. So this is the orange that will cover the orange red color. So as you can see down here what I've done and since I had so many parts to do here, I put a piece of tape that holds the corners down. Because this tape, if you let it sit too long, of course it's gonna pull, especially the corners. So now we go ahead and pull this off. And what we do is now that I've got this, all the tape on, I wanna pull the guide tape off. So pull nice and easy just in case you have any problem of one of the tail or the orange tape, the last tape that you laid overlapping it. This looks good though. Now we should have pretty much a perfect eighth inch stripe in between the two stripes. And one thing you want to keep in mind too, you want to roll the tape under, make it a nice neat job. Some of these fenders, the dresser fenders, the bagger fenders will have trim right along here. So not real important. It always makes a nicer job to roll it underneath. So when you do the base coat, you want to make sure you get underneath here too. So here's how I did the track body. Sometimes you can't use the guide tape because the gap in between the two, two pinstripes are not exact. Ran into that problem pretty much on the tank, so you pretty much have to guess. So you can see how I did that. As you can see on the tour pack lid, I got all four corners held down. I'll pull those off at the last minute. In fact, I'll go ahead and mix up my paint, put it in the, the gun, 
And what I'm going to do next is go ahead and kill this orange. I'll, I'll just mix up a, a gray base coat. No sealer, just a gray base coat. And I will spray just a dusting over it just to kill this orange because the Luxury Rich Red is also transparent and we'll have a tough time covering this orange color. So fairing, as you can see, I got two guide tapes. So let's pull this off. Got one there. One here. Okay, so I'll mix up some gray. I'll spray it on there. I'll come back and show you how I did it and what it looks like. Okay, here you can see I've sprayed just a, a real light coat of gray. It basically killed the orange to make it easier for the red to cover, cover uh, you know, the rest of the fender. So you can see I did the same on all these other parts. So we're good to spray the red. Now you want to go from here on out as fast as possible because you don't have any hold downs on the corners here. So we're going to shut this off and I will be back shortly and hopefully the red goes on nice and we'll pull the tape off and uh, we'll see the finished uh, product here. Okay, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. I got the red on all the parts. I blended the trike body and basically pay, uh, sprayed probably about 60% of it. Fairing, tour pack lid, inner fairing, switch cover. We just spotted the tour pack bottom and I got the tank done. So one thing you gotta watch on doing little jobs like this, like on this tank, is when you, like when I did the orange and the gray, you might get some overspray down here. So you gotta watch that. You gotta make sure you dust some of the red on there to cover any of the overspray that previ previously was done. Uh, you can also sand backwards to make sure you get all that overspray off. So in this case, I did both. I sanded back a little bit, and then I dusted some orange, plus the stripe, the factory stripe on the corner here, the orange was too wide. So I had to kill the excess with some red. So the moment of truth, here we go. We'll go ahead and pull the tape off, and voila. There you go. Double stripes, very little, no masking. Just your 16th and 8th inch tape. And what I'll do, I'll go over to this fairing. I'll pull this off. Now make sure when you pull the tape off, you want to pretty much pull against the paint. This way it cuts any overlaying bridged paint. Cuts it. Just like that. So, and that's what it looks like. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat these. This whole process took me probably about two hours, including dry time. So to do three colors, not too bad. I'll be clear coating in probably, probably about 20 minutes or so. I know I have a little bit of cleanup. As you can see on the, on the body here, it pulled where it was very tight. Now this was completely cracked on this side, so I had to rebuild this side. Uh, I will have some touch up in the corner. I know I will. Really won't know till I get the tape off though. Actually, it came out very nice. I think the other side did pull, so I had to brush or uh, spray that back in. So anyway, I will clear coat these and we'll be right back. Okay, this is the last segment of the video. As you can see, I got all the parts painted, clear coated. See how nice it came out? Makes it so much easier to do the stripe first. Kind of a weird way of doing it. I know a lot of painters uh, wouldn't think of doing it this way, but it does make it a lot easier. Here's the trike body, came out real nice. 
fairing, tour pack lid. And this is how good the tank, those are those intricate stripes I was talking about. So I had those masked up solid, so those are almost impossible to mask up individually, but I think it came out real nice. So it looks like the rich red blends in real nice. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe. Be sure and like this video. So if you learned anything, or uh, hopefully you did. And like I said, I'm gonna make some more how-to videos. So be sure and subscribe. Thanks for watching.